send a friend request to yours truly or my fellow tour guides, Trajan and Rendizo. Now, without further ado, <coughs> travelers, <coughs> it is time. I will now let the greatest voice actor to ever grace the halls of VR chat take the stage. The greatest friend, the greatest creator. Yes, my friends, it is my honor to introduce to you the one, the only, Trajem, the tour guide. Wow, the lack of, uh, Hello, <laughs> Jim. yay, Trajem. Gaming, gaming. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, hey, Silent, it's school for the travel. You're burning my precious hair. Stop. Oh, stop it. It's his hair. Now I'm freezing it. Well, well, well. Yeah, I'm air conditioning you. What have we here? It would seem I have chanced upon a collection of travelers. This is just what I was looking for. I would like to formally invite all of you on a journey of discovery and darkness. Do you think you are worthy? Do you deem yourselves competent? Are you willing to be tested? Hmm, but I do wonder. Was it fate that brought us all here tonight? Some extra planar ethereal shift, perhaps, uh, some anomaly. Whatever the case, I feel as though this will be a very special occasion. My friends, please allow me to introduce myself. I am the archaeologist, and my destination is the great southern mineshaft. There, with the help of the professor, we will investigate whatever the miners have discovered some long-sealed ancient mystery. Well, are you ready? Yeah! My friends, Let's I'm go. going to drop a portal. Yep. Please do not enter the portal until I give the all clear. We try to get lost. Great Southern Mine Shaft. <clears throat> well, it was all, it was nice knowing you all. Oh, my friends, I will see you on the other side. Did this okay? Geo, if you have me visible enough, you should see a purple now. spirit next to me. Oh no, I see it. Me. I see it. I pointed it out. That's the voice in my head. I hope your spirit <laughs> dies. It's me, Geo. I have a lantern. Is the voice in your head telling you to commit arson? <laughs> no. no. Imagine yeah. having voices in your head. Well, then head it's not the voice in your head. Well, I mean, the voice, it can, oh, it can hide inside me or move around and next to me, so. It's technically a voice in my head, but the voice in my head can exit my head. 
you have. So, that's a bonus mm -hmm. for the voice. So Who's a right yeah, okay, point? Sure. <laughs> we are already hot. Sumo can help me with these edits of my avatar, so. Panda, do you see that red point? Are all of you, by chance, part of the Xenogear? <laughs> I see my pack pot pack full of them. There's a red point right here. Uh, 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 so sorry, but my English. We lost Geo! Oh, dude, like, no one says. Nothing of value is lost. <laughs> True. <laughs> Ah, uh, but I have a friend uh, that can just tr translate to my language. Uh, if it's needed. I'll give them a summary of the event afterwards, so they can make sense of the thing. Uh. Here it goes. You okay, Gio? <laughs> like, I totally what? care about your condition of falling off the table. Just a moment. I mean, promise. the story will begin. Yeah? Very soon. I'm can you jump off the edge or what? Yes, my friends, give a my friends, please. Do back. My friends, lend me your attention. We had our first death. Oh. A first death of many, I assure you. My friends, please listen carefully. This is a story-based tour, and as with any real tour in the real world, I politely ask that you remain with me. In other words. Please do not rush ahead of me or dally too far behind during our adventure. You do not want to end up alone down here. World music should be set to an immersive level. Please don't use blue statuses as this instance is private. And please set your avatars to something plain with no emissive lights or flight or sound effects. And ideally not too large as atmosphere is a very important part of this story. You may also notice that the map has an echo effect. While you are welcome to talk to that as we walk from point to point, please do consider these unique acoustics of the map and kindly refrain from speaking each time we stop for no reason. And as you have seen, the spawn area is very small. Please try not to fall. There's nothing up there, guys. It's all a lie. <laughs> and now, if we're all here and we're all ready, without further ado, my friends, the story begins. Welcome to the great southern mineshaft. The archaeologist has spent weeks crossing uninhabited mountains to come to this place. All his excitement that had slowly dripped away during his wearying journey rushes back as he descends this first ladder. The archaeologist is a young and talented man, a pupil of knowledge, a bright promising mind, and the assistant to the professor. The professor had arrived a week prior and should be waiting for him somewhere below. Together, they are the first in the field to see these ancient sites in person. The archaeologist is excited by the chance to finally prove himself to his professor. The foreman of the mine meets the archaeologist, and they converse casually as they descend to the first level. The concrete shaft smells of grease, smoke, and sweat, and all the miners are wearing masks that obscure the face. My friends, please carefully follow me. And he does mean carefully. Plenty have fallen. I've been one of those victims and ouch. The path is perilous. The ill box. The ill box. 
Martinelli L box. How many L's are we gonna take? The foreman explains that the professor is just ahead, but he stops by the supply room and has someone give the archaeologist the following items. An oil lantern, a safety helmet, and a flashlight. The archaeologist can't help but notice a heavy steel door with armed guards standing either side of it, also masked. But the foreman pulls him away before he can give it any more thought. This way, friend. Archaeological archaeological site. Wait a minute, it's right. It's right. It's right. It's a little bit more powerful. What? what? <laughs> Who is the light? He has to stop to use the rest of us. Take a moment to estimate how many millions of tons of Earth currently sits above your head. Um, about seven. Oh, I would say at least eleven. I think Gio's a little bit off in his math. No, that's no, I'm pretty Dad, that ether that was in my eyes. <laughs> nah, no, I'm just kidding. I got sunglasses. I'll be fine. Aha. Uh -huh. There he is, the man himself, the professor, kneeling outside what appears to be a line of wooden stakes. The archaeologist, eager to learn, ready to prove his worth, excitedly greets the professor. The professor does not return the greeting. He does not stand. He does not even lift his head. Instead, he continues to sketch away in his book, and he says that he is now standing in what he has named Ritual K-1, and he promptly gives the archaeologist a task. My friends, this is our first quest. Your goal is to collectively observe anything unusual and noteworthy about the unnatural features of this room, and then come back as a group to describe to the professor what you see. To those who have done this before, feel free to stand aside. Otherwise, the rest of you, I will give you three minutes to prove your skill. Your time starts now. All right, have fun, y'all. I'm gonna observe oh, yeah. you all and judge you harshly, oh, yeah. as the professor would. Mm. Have you done the tutorial yet? Yes, I have. Oh, I'm not still in, but no. I've done this. You, are you still in? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go find you. Still you. Still in? If I have a turtle, I, mean, I said I'm not head. still in. I got safety. I, sorry, my bad. Because I'm prepared. No, no, no you're, not not you're handless this time. Hmm. Oh, you can't talk. Geo, I, I can finally, I can, I can finally see you. Well, and? Uh, okay. <laughs> I can barely see you, it's too dark. Can you go to the light? No, hold on, give me a sec. Do I have a light? He's a little young to go to the light. Oh yeah, no, I go, well, I go. Jeez. Nice. Well, as you know, I'm not that bright. Thanks to me having the wind buster, as I call it, I can do this. You can, can you actually, are you actually able to fly with that? Well, um, I have a fly option because Loco Roco has been added, and, uh, but there is a button called, like, wind jump where I just click it, and it automatically gives me the wind buster.
thruster and flight at the same time. Wait, wait, local mm, show? Travelers, yeah, promising local archaeologists, a budding history yeah. enthusiasts. Your yeah. time has yeah. expired. Please fly, come hither. I don't need Goko Loco. Now, you've had sufficient time to study this space. Volunteers, please, come up, stand before me, and jump before my face, if you wish to offer your observations. Gio Noir, go ahead. Um, five stakes and five... five Five fire pits and it's the five corners of the room. Very incoherent. Anyone else? <laughs> Wooden stumps around here. That's exactly what natural formation. That is. No, that's all I got. <clears throat> Did you say these wooden stumps are natural or unnatural? They do appear to be so. Well spotted. Anyone else? Who wants to show off their powers of observation? It's damping. Very well. Then the story continues. The professor cuts off the end of the archaeologist answers with his own. Oh, please, he says. It is quite simple. A square of stakes. A single elevated stone platform. And five primitive sacrificial pyres. The professor apologizes, but the archaeologist apparently came all this way for nothing. But tells him he is welcome to wait in the supply room whilst he finishes the studies himself. The archaeologist feels his blood boil, but he bites his tongue and leaves the professor be. My friends, this way. Oh, you're so dumb, you didn't see what you needed to. <laughs> Beat up that old yeah, if you just, even if you say what you need to, he's like, he just basically fucking mocks you for it. Right now. I just look at you and be like, oh, so you know the bare minimum of what it takes to be here. Oh. Huh. I can aim my fire down anywhere. So you came from Cambridge too. Oh. Did you watch the Open Fiber movie? Oh, oh, oh I see. I see. Open my it is really dark here. Barbie. Recite the entirety of Open can't use lights? Recite the entirety of it? Right, uh, according to all known laws of aviation. That's the B-movie. Same difference. No, there's a big difference. There's both movies. The B-movie. Yeah, B for bomb. The bomb. Up the basement skills. That hmm, movie is these the bomb. These, these tubes are I'm gonna fucking slap you. I just for that, probably. No, just Barkeologist. Barkeologist. Oh, what, what about what does C stand for? D as in archaeologist. The C oh, can not stand the Geo. It has no legs. My friends, the story continues. Outside the supply room, the mountain wind whistles in the distance. The archaeologist overhears some of the miners whispering about some sort of magnetic disturbance. A barrier preventing entrance to something ancient in the forbidden lower floor. The archaeologist cannot resist. He didn't come all this way to watch the professor draw a pile of wood. He 
he did not spend countless nights scrutinizing research papers by candlelight, toiling away in unforgiving desert heat, fighting off dehydration and fevers and bandits and wild beasts and malaria and avalanches and starvation to watch the professor draw a pile of damn sticks! Damn right. <laughs> yeah! Screw there the professor! Fuck the professor. Not literally. Do not. Do not. Do not, Professor. The archaeologist knows what he wants to do. He will descend to the great sullen mine shaft. He will make the new discoveries. He will overcome anything for the recognition he knows he deserves. Yes. He will become the professor. When the guards are not looking, the archaeologist slinks away and descends. Yes. Uh, I'm not gonna ask. I don't know what. Go up exploring shafts. No. Fine. Huh? I didn't break my limbs this time. Well, I guess we're getting shafted. Look at that one. I live, I aim to please. Hush. Listen. There's nobody down here. No miners. No professor. No howling wind. Only cold, comforting silence and the stench of smoke and grease. He lights his oil lantern and begins his own journey of discovery, giddy with anticipation. Okay, no miners, no kids. Good. The miners are the caves. The miners were the friends we made along the way. Or the ones we use to make cell phones, get the parts we need. To the cobalt mines. What if the real friends we made along the way were the... Finish your thought any time you like. Ah. Uh, uh, you want me to finish? No. Do you have a license to be so cubicle? My friends, watch your step. Just ahead is a spike trap. It would spell a painful end to this new adventure. But do take a look as you pass, for the trap seems entirely undisturbed. The archaeologist, therefore, is confident that he is the first one to be here. He said it would spell. Roll a nat 20. Roll a nat 20. Doom or death or something. That one would death. spell. It's a magical trap. Yeah, I'm sure it would spell doom. Make an acrobatics check. Would spell. Guys, don't worry. Treasure, will, treasure never gets lost here. We're, we're in good hands. Gotta get with my boulder gate. Right, Trajan? You never get lost in here. God damn it, we're right in back in the circle.
archaeologist has found himself in Ritual Cave 1? No, it, it cannot be. There is no sign the professor was here, and he didn't even... What was that? Footsteps. He turns to look over his shoulder. There's no one there. He presses on and decides he must inspect this cave. My friends, this is our second quest. You are to identify the unnatural details of this room and determine to what degree they match Ritual Cave 1. I will give you two minutes to figure this out and I hope you are paying attention the first time. My photographic memory fails me. I'm gonna start a campfire. <sighs> yes, thank you a lot. <laughs> That's right. Ah, tech nerd soup. My favorite kind. <laughs> Don't notice those. Wait, fuel by an ether fire. Campfire. Would you like some soup? I'm going to spoil your fun and remind you that. We can't have any avatars emitting light during this journey. It's cold and darkness for all of you the whole way through. Dang. That's unfortunate. Cold soup. As an archaeologist, I forgot my torch. Dang, that is... Wait, now, wait that means free his avatar is available. Tonight's archaeologists who are studying the site. Please, your findings. Is this the same site? Or does it merely look the same? Who would like to offer? Hardrim, you raise your hand. There are holes here, but they uh, are not in the precedent uh, uh, place. Just here. This exit is different, you say? Indeed. Hmm, well spotted. Anyone else? Well, then the story continues. After a short while going over everything he can, the archaeologist determines that these similarities must be a coincidence, or perhaps intentional, but the room is a different room. And he thusly names the space Ritual Cave 2. His oil lantern gets a little dimmer, so he turns it up. Confident now that he has made a new discovery, he realizes that if he goes back to tell the professor now, this isn't enough. He will be scolded for descending without authority. No, he needs a discovery far more impressive, which means he must go. Fortune favors oh, there we go. the obsessed. Yeah. I played this game. It's called Dark Souls. Yep. Hey, hey. Eat soul is dark. Okay. I'll tell you what. In Dark Souls, the souls are white. That's false advertising. 
I know, right? Shocking. Tell me you're kicking his little wand. I'm taking it. Right. Maybe it's a yin yang thing. What do you mean it's a yin yang thing? The dark and the light, light and the dark. Oh, okay, maybe, but uh, I don't know. Then where do we see the dark soul then? Dark Souls 3. Uh, I like it, but it's a little late in the game. The soul becomes yes. dark every time you insert your foot. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, god damn it. <laughs> I just got up, I don't want to talk. Your dark soul. For my lady. Your soul right? gets dark whenever you insert your foot. Yeah, so that, that sheds in a whole new light. That guy in Dark Souls 3 at the very end, he was asking for your foot. Don't ask. Obviously no, 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 no. He wants to suck your toes. Your own soul. <laughs> have, you, have you heard of a shit? Bad Dan Schneider. Yeah, I'm wearing one. Looks more like an armored boot, but still. Ah, uh, well. Ah, it would appear the archaeologist has found himself back in the central shaft. He can hear the miners high above him. It does not sound like anyone has noticed he has gone missing. Good. He descends to the next floor. Very dark. Safely made it once again. If a certain someone tries to knock me over, I will smack them. I don't know who this certain someone is, but crush. Geo. Ah! Huh, you didn't use that much force there. This doesn't seem right. These bars. Broken like this. Is this part of the mine? The archaeologist takes a moment to pause and listen. <laughs> yes. There. Ever so faint. A distant hum. A droning sound. He proceeds carefully. Oh yeah, we're going yes. on an adventure. Wonderful. See, this is a dark, do us, do us, this do is a dark Souls game. What will an archaeologist find yeah. down here? You beat me to it. Not nearly enough poison. Of course. Of course, Trajan is the king of those jokes. The poison is the friend we make. Of what jokes? You think he's joking? He's deadly serious. And don't call him Shirley. Okay, I'll buy that. <laughs> sure. Not Shirley. Hmm. More. Concrete rooms. So, he is still in the mine shaft, and that hum was coming from the generator in that small room over there. It must be keeping these lights on. He decides to rummage through the larger room. Perhaps there might be something useful lying around. But as he searches, a question swims to the front 
of the archaeologist's mine. Shipping cranes. Why? He looks around for a crowbar, finds one, and carefully pries a crate open, and inside is not what he expected. Dozens and dozens of ceramic humanoid figurines, some as big as a skull, others no larger than a knuckle bone, and they are old, very old, with flakes of paint remaining and carved elaborate patterns denoting various styles of clothing, quite unlike anything he has seen before. The only aspect of the figurines he finds baffling is the faces, or lack thereof. While the rest of each figurine is rich in detail, the face has just one dot for a mouth and a smooth, blank surface where the eyes are supposed to be. And it feels wrong. It feels so very wrong. The archaeologist puts them all back and closes the crate, then realizes what this might mean. He can't have been the first one to have explored these ancient tunnels. He may not Hello? Who's there? Nothing. These... the figurines. They likely came from these ancient sites, but that would mean the professor... The professor lied to him. The archaeologist is furious. Why was he even brought all this way? To be mocked? Oh, no, 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 no. No professor or foreman can stop the archaeologist now. He decides, with renewed vigor, to go deeper. No, Just as the dwarves were foolish the and went to ever deeper. The Balrog's my favorite part. Gandalf Stormcrow. Gandalf the what? More like Gandalf the stupid. <laughs> 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 That was good. Taking the Hobbit, as in crap. This way. There smells the archaeologist more. comes to a much larger cavern with pathways high and pathways low. He wants to find a tunnel as high up as possible and work his way down. My friends, I will give you a couple of minutes to explore this room freely, but please do not leave the main chamber by entering any other tunnels. Stay in the main space. Once you're done exploring, locate an upper tunnel and gather there where I will be waiting. Oh yeah. It's time it's to wait. The King Saruman. What should I say? Saruman the silly. Saruman the stupid. What's this about soft kisses? Saruman the stinky. Saruman the soup. Sorry, he's stinky. See? Soup. See? Soup. See? Soup. He said soup. Soup. Okay, alright. Yes. Not. Okay, soup. I'm not allowed where. Where, where we. Saruman the stinky. Mm. <laughs> Can I? Oh. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay. Thanks. There's no back attack. Good job. Thank you. Full organization. Pat Lover, stop Thank doing you. crimes to Ren. Why? <laughs> only, only to Ren. You heard the man. True. That case, I'll just continue committing, committing felonies on a regular basis, just not by Ren. Okay, uh, are you going to see? Why did you have to look at Trajan when you said that, Pack? I look at Trajan all the time. And when you do, Trajan looks back. when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. It's true. Santa Jim. I see him in my dream. My friend Santa Jim. Yeah. That's awesome. Santa Jim, that's awesome. I believe Give you are. Give me a round of applause. Ah. Very well. Then, I ask that you Follow me this way. I just say this way like that. This way, says. I promise it won't happen again. <laughs> down the hey. dark holes. Another hole. I'm gonna go down the hole. An obsession for going deeper and deeper. Oh, yeah. The dark holes that you don't know if you can climb out of. That's safe. Everybody's favorite moment. Oh. 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 Why parkour. Parkour, parkour. Please wait on this I... side. Wait on this side, friends. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. The archaeologist sees a challenge. There are old wooden beams you can use to cross this pit, lit from above by... Daylight? No, no. There must be some way below the surface. How is there daylight here? The archaeologist perishes the thought and crosses. My friends, in a moment, you may proceed at your own pace and wait on the other side for everyone else to cross. If you require assistance, we will help you across once everyone else is over. And I will cross last. Now, my friends. Oh. 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 away. It is harder than it looks. Alright. Best of luck. Mario face on. Oh, crap. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Damn it! If you jump diagonally toward the opposing wall each time, it stops you from over jumping. I don't want help. It gets you because it falls. You jump on that platform. Don't lose faith, travelers. I mean, you I can do it. Uh, jump slash here. Oh, that was pretty cool. See, uh, I, I was jumping that way. Like I just like I wish to make it harder for them. Legs in the darkness <laughs> and it's like oh. Oh no. <laughs> like oh, okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is how we take care of riots. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 little gin dance. Dodge, man, dodge. Are you okay, my friend? <laughs> yes, but how will you do so if you can't see? <laughs> oh, jeez, Louise. Me. <laughs> <laughs> that is cruel, man. <laughs> 
Uh... I'm done. <laughs> okay, Meldrin, you can jump now. We're done torturing you. Would you like me to have you ferried over? <laughs> yeah. Nope, he's fine. Made it. Come on, Jim Jim. You can do it. Don't give up. We have one more. You can do it. You gotta cling to the sides. Wall cling. Ah. Uh, <laughs> wait, no. Why are people going back? <laughs> are you showing off? Huh? It's always going to be a show oh. off. He's oh. trying to help. Hold on. Thank you for <laughs> Thank you for the copyright strike. The biggest backpack. <laughs> Who has a oh, copyright geez. strike? Oh well. Oh. <laughs> All copyright strike you in the face. Hey, no, stop talk. Okay. Hell yeah. Metal shit. <laughs> this is a threat. Oh, and there you go. Alright, hold on. Let me see if I can enable one of my seats. Oh, I you got it. People okay. standing in the front. Because I can and I will. And you can't stop me. Here I come. Are you ready? <laughs> no. no. Oh. Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Trey oh. Jim. Go Trey Jim. Trey Jim. Trey Jim. Oh, never mind. You should have oh, taken the other side. He's, he's going to make it. Send it. Come on. A clean sweep. Watch this. Trey Jim, you can fall. I mean, make it. Oh, oh, you really no. just do that? No. Oh no. I can't believe that worked. That's the easiest jump. Don't condemn not, him Travelers. to death. Trajan will, will make this. I know it. Come on. We got this. Yeah, totally. It's not going to take him 9,000 tries. Uh. Oh. Oh. Are, we sure? Are we sure we should have. Uh, he should have gone last. Yeah, we're sure. Don't worry about it. You'll see. You'll see why. You'll see. Come on. One more. Oh. <laughs> Was that the only one who almost crashed? <laughs> you uh, got this. Maybe. I made it. Andrew, over there in case I fall. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> He'll catch you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You weren't oh, there. Oh, you overshot it. You weren't there to catch him, you fool. Two years later. Send him to love. Ooh. Why does the floating cube have to jump? All right, halfway there. Good question. Because they only float up so high. You are in trouble. They have to jump because the, the tour guide goes down with the ship. Yes. <laughs> Who are we shipping with Trajan? Why is it going down? Pulling a Trajan on Trajan. Uh, I saw that tomato. <laughs> sorry. No one pulls a Trajan on Trajan. Tra tra so is this a ship, Jim? You know his name yes, is Yes, he's going to make it. Trey, Jim. Trey, Jim. Trey, Jim. Trey, Jim. Trey, Jim. Make it slippery. Yeah. First try. Yeah, it's totally the first try. First try. First try. The first try of the last attempt. Yes. Oh, Dawn, I'm going to do that on every tour, don't worry. <laughs> now, this way, friends. Follow the glowing purple light cube. That's a throwback. That's a rock. Oh, yeah. Miss Clay. <laughs> I saw you back there from stop showing off, Tailed. Ritual room number. Still think back to the hall. The archaeologist, catching his breath, steps into... Wait. 
No, no. It, it cannot be. Can it? You must find out. Our third quest. As before, your task is to simply identify whether this room is identical to Ritual Caves 1 and 2, and why. Your time begins now. The origin of the soup ritual. Was it this one that was? Wait, was soup it? Was it? Oh, that's actually a good question. Was it? First, I saw it was on uh, the pilot, actually. The truth the is, the or the pilot. That sometimes I just say things. Words. <laughs> <laughs> Pet, 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 pet. Man, man, don't throw me, throw me through a loop like that. You have me concerned for me. Oh, it's hilarious. Please do. No, why? You monster, how Funny. could you? Funny. You continue to say false things. My keyboard's busted. <laughs> Spread false information. My keyboard busted. What do I hear? I don't know. It's flashing and I don't know why. Eat the keyboard. <laughs> I'm about to. Okay, good. Hey, okay. Hey, the freaking keyboard. Hi. <laughs> Go AFK. Hey. Why? Why? Anybody notice any differences? Why? Why? Well, we got another one. <laughs> we got another like one. Why? 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 Boy. 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 What kind of new zoomer word is this? Boy. I wonder what Boy. happens if you Boy. step past Boy. the boundary. Boy. Let's see. Boy. 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 Uh -oh. Boy. Boy. <laughs> if I step this way, then Shinzai was I short on. Ah, why should my Shinzai was I short on? Ah, oh, that was very strange. What just happened to us <laughs> past the boundary? <laughs> oh no! What? <laughs> Does that mean this is actually oh, the remnants of the Great Wall of China? <laughs> oh my oh. God. Did he really have to the Great Wall of Chinese? Oh. Let's try this one more time. D's. <laughs> ah, got him. My friends, enough fun and laughter. The story must continue. No fun. Where? Where? Now, I'm sure by now you're wondering is this the same cave or not? Who would like to offer their findings? Where? Ether Memento, you stand before me. Um, what we can find is a pile of damn sticks. That is all. Okay. Where? Yes, I remember that part. Anyone else? <laughs> Where? Where? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Byron, you seem to be gesturing something. What do you think? What do your alpine see? Boy. 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 I don't think that. Is there a translator? What is he trying to say? Uh, all right. I believe he's trying to say, "Boy." No. 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 Boy. No. Fascinating. Boy. No. I cannot cross this line of stakes for mm, reasons. Very well, friends. Bring it in. Please return. Boy. No. Boy. No. Boy. Boy. No. Boy. No. Boy. No. Checks the room over and decides that this is a separate 
yet mostly identical room. Ritual Cave 3. Confused yet intrigued as to what lies ahead, the archaeologist proceeds knowing that every step takes him closer to a grand discovery. Ah, but just as he turns to leave, he's, he notices his lantern has gotten dimmer once more. He turns it up, and it is something. What was that? What the heck they're talking about? What were they talking about? Was game you could just ask the Chinese. Just speak to the Chinese. Ask you what you said in Chinese. Well, I'm responding no. Bueno is good in Spanish. So they're saying a half word in Spanish. No. 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 What is this? You've lost your source over So, the miners have definitely descended this far and used this bucket to lift something out of here. Hmm. The archaeologist has a guess as to what this was used for. Still, there must be something they missed. After all, what do miners know of ancient civilization? Even with the professor's help, they are no match for the archaeologist. He will earn the recognition of his peers and even his superiors. The professor is going to regret shoving him to the side like a discarded rag. This way. I will never be able to escape as I burn the ropes to this bucket. No. 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 The answer? Boy. Boy, no. Boy. Me with the sound effect because that could distract me and I could end up walking into. Oh! It's Boy, no. See what I mean? Boy, no. Of the water coming from below. Please wait here, friends. What? You're a very bad Boy. cube to make us do this again. <laughs> Just going oh. backwards to spine. Like hardcore parkour. My friends, something here is off. Something is wrong. The sunlight from before is so very dim. Could the sun have set so quickly? And look, the lantern is dimmer too. He turns it up, burning yet more oil and... Wait, hello? Who's that? Was there someone on the other side? Hmm. Well, we must press on this way. Boy. No. I almost fell that time. I, I definitely made the last jump. I didn't fall. I like made a mistake. <laughs> Easier to do it the other way. Mm. There are multiple variations of boy. There's boy, there's boy, there's boy. Boy. Yep. To boy or boy. not to boy? That is boy. the question. French word. Boy. boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, Kevin. <Catherine. laughs> boy. Ah, they're giving us boy. a good amount of blaster. 
boy. Boy. I'm getting very tired of this. Where off? Wait, I'm stuck. I'm not stuck anymore. Huh. I was stuck for a second. Wait. Not the archaeologist. The archaeologist. Is that it? The archaeologist. Boy. Archaeologist or boy for short, A.K.A. What kids ask for in the morning when they're hungry. Wacky. Boy. Jeez, these doors smell. Unless someone farted. I want sugary Boy. cereal. <laughs> I like sugary diabetes. Hey guys, Peter Griffin here. Hit him with the joke. Stuck. Holy crap. Mm, diabetes. Boy. Boy. Diabetes isn't real. Believe in that shit. Back. <laughs> In the main shaft, the overpowering stench of smoke and grease returns to the archaeologist. He no longer hears noises from the top. Perhaps they've all finally left him to explore in peace. Looking down, there is but one more floor. Those steps, the steps can take a lot out of you. Friends, this is it. Ahead, surely, is what the archaeologist came here for. What secrets will he find? What treasures will he unveil? Let us proceed. Why did the archaeologist come for a head? A dog <laughs> farted! Wanted to get ahead of the competition. The professor. arrives at a large cavern filled with pillars and precipices, stalactites and stalagmites. My friends, I will give you again a minute or two to explore this new space, but please do not leave this chamber or enter any doors, but do see how many other exits you can locate. I will meet you at a one of those exits in a couple of minutes. Yep, it's my house. Yeah, no. So it's also like 
Okay, hold on. Tell you what, do you want me to slap a chair on? Uh, I think my last box broke with how bad that pun was. And I'm a man of puns. So you know you get bad. And nothing of value was lost. Oh wait, no, that's right, it's not Geo. Please don't go ahead, Flynn. You really want to bite metal? You want to bite me? <laughs> that's not what I meant. I meant the I meant the element metal, not the person. The L Man Metal. What? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. The L Man Metal. That's not what I said. Are you? Am I not speaking right? You are. It must be the echo in these caves. Rather cacophonous, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Funny you should say that. Bless you. Again, how many people are we allowed to lose? How many are we allowed to lose? How many are we allowed to lose? Thank you so much, Panda. Did someone else die? I don't think so, but I might How about the two guys? That's how many we're allowed to lose. Yeah, just a walk. There you go. Thank you so much. People are free to come and go as they wish. That is fine. Right. We are, are locked onto the path of the bad ending either way. My fellow tour guides, are we all here? There's someone down here. Sheen's trying to parkour, so almost all here. Yeah, Pack Lover is hiding under a rock. Ah, Mine so he's, he's doing a pack. I, I can't see. My friends, the archaeologist has chosen his next path. Your continued silence is appreciated this way. The archaeologist chuckles as he steps into a now familiar arrangement. Even at a brief glance, he is sure this is another ritual room. Ritual room four by now. But as he pauses to catch his breath, he looks about and wonders. These ancient people, where did they get all this wood from? The surroundings beyond the mine are rocky and ancient barren as far as the eye can see. Before he can think on it any further, his lantern dims to darkness. He places it upon the ground and takes out his flashlight, but its light flickers dimly. The battery is so low it is scarcely of any use to him now. He curses the miners for their faulty equipment and follows the cave wall with his hands, the dull glow of the flashlight sweeping back and forth across the cavern floor. My friends, there is but one more tunnel to explore. This way. Tell me no one else wants to blow me up. Should it's I like say three this point. times already. Someone made me go kablooey. Okay. No. I'm not falling for that. Yes. No. But no. no. All right. Uh, Lazuli, do you want another boost? Or do you want another lift? If you wouldn't mind. Yeah, here you go. No, no, Thank no, you so right. much. 
Yeah, the door is holding right. the bottom and have to start Whoa. over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Here you go. Started right. from the bottom, now we're here. You're a lifesaver, thank Rip. you. Hey, it's alright. I mean, the others would have done the same. There's, I remember mm -hmm. back when they had you flying no avatars with seats on them. Yeah, you had to actually let you fly. Nice. We can afford to leave Elmer behind. He's covered by our insurance. Why do you look like that? Covered by car no, insurance. No. <laughs> you take insurance on all the. Uh... Insurance yes, you all, you all insurance. signed a form before you came, didn't? Don't you remember? You all did it. No. Oh yes, the consent to gaslighting form. That's right. I would like to talk What's that? To my lawyer. Oh yeah, you know the gaslights. You know you need. I to hope there's no gas down here, gas Panda. Look, are you using a kerosene lamp right now? We're using a flashlight. We left the lamp behind. We're about to move on. Is everybody here? Oh, the crawler just came in. <laughs> I made it and came, but I had a lot of crawlers. Fucking uh, yeah. magic school buses. <laughs> the salute will literally fall and move on. I guess you could say he was bussing this way, friends. Bussing. Yes. What is pack? Why is it love? My friends, gather round. We're almost at the ending of the story now. The archaeologist comes to a large cave, and even with the dying light, he can tell where he stands. He laughs aloud to himself. Surely, surely this is some cruel jest. Why is he going mad? Pondering the thought, he walks around the cave and remembers something. The professor had called them sacrificial pyres, and yet none of them had shown any signs of being set alight. All the wood has been unburned. Rotten, yes, old, yes, but unburned. So what is the sacrifice? And then, quite unexpectedly, a smell twists its way into his nostrils. The smell of sulfur. And as the flashlight finally expires and he is plunged into darkness, a dull orange light flashes in the corner of his vision just for a brief moment. Blindly, desperately, stumbles toward it. E. E. Do not fall, my friends. Do not fall into the glowing orange pit of hell. Sounds good to me. Like huh? You're glowing like a ghost. Like I'm not glowing to me. Well, there goes tail. <laughs> From the top <laughs> of a ledge, a putrid malodor rises up from a pit gleaming with hellish intensity. Decaying corpses, singed hair, melting flesh. Images flash within his mind, memories he didn't know he had surface, like faces in black water. 
and then he becomes aware of something else. Some new thought manifests in the inky fog of his weary mind. Something pulls, pulls the archaeologist toward the edge. Something beckons him, calling his name. A hand hovering just above the shoulder. A whisper in the air, which has not yet passed the lips. And then, all is darkness. My friends, this way. Could have sworn you were going to come scare us. No. No hole for you. That's why he said not to. I thought we leave our man in the hole forever. Yeah, he and there is a false loss, I think. Our man died again. Oh, My lawyer says not to assist him. You just have to fuse a black hole with the <laughs> main area. Here we go. <laughs> oh god, that's a bit trippy in the eyes. My friends, at this point in the story, we have arrived at the conclusion. I ask two things. One, that you continue to kindly remain silent, utterly silent. And two, close your eyes tight. Let blackness fill your vision. Just wakes up to muffled voices. But when he moves, they stop suddenly. He opens his eyes. At least, he opens his eyelids. He can feel them open. And yet, the world remains dark. No, not darkness. This is not darkness. There is nothing to see. There is no world to see. Right beside him, the familiar voice of the professor comes, and he asks how the archaeologist is feeling in a strangely calm tone. As he speaks, something heavy is placed in the archaeologist's hands. The archaeologist ignores the question and he asks why everything is dark. Why did his flashlight die? Why are all the lights off? But as he speaks, he feels what he is holding, a large, round, smooth ceramic object. A head, just like the others from the crate, but a life-sized head. And as the archaeologist's fingers brush across the ceramic head, he feels the smooth surface where the eyes should be. And, inquisitive, he presses a little too firmly and a finger punctures through the weak surface, crumbling like bread or plaster, and he recoils in horror at what he discovers within. The professor chuckles. <laughs> My dear boy, the lights are and our new friend thanks you.
for your sacrifice. Friends and travelers, you may open your eyes. Welcome to the bad ending of the archaeologist. I agree, yeah. pack lover. Tormented scream. This <sighs> ending you'll never see again. Next time I run the archaeologist, I will do the neutral ending, and then the good ending, and then that's all, forever. Make sure you don't miss them if you want to find out what happens. Or just watch My friends, Screams. in I a moment, the hole. No one I will put you back into the hands of Sheen, our face, our guide, our light, and he will give you our end of tour announcements, after which we will See you all, hopefully, in the after party. But, Sheen, please, take it from here. But seriously, I screamed when I fell down that red hole, and no one came to help me. That was the was idea. screaming that loud enough? That was the oh. idea. I think. That was the whole point, Elman. We just filed you under the, the, the paperwork and uh, acceptable losses. <laughs> I mean, I've fallen down a lot so you're writing him off as a you, you run him off numb to that. Travelers, before we crack another joke or say another bleh, please you said put your hands together for the only tray gem <laughs> thank you thank you Kapla. Travelers, my friends, thank you for coming tonight. We hope that you enjoyed this experience, and we hope that you join our future events as well. As Trajim said, he is retiring, and he is now going through all of his tours, one by one, every ending. That means the next time he runs the archaeologist, it will be either the neutral or the good ending, and that will be the last time. So, my friends, thank you again for joining us. We are VR Travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, and wholesome team effort. We do this for fun. We do this for free. However, for you newcomers, we do ask one thing in return. We ask that you join our Discord community and there post your comments, photos, or any ideas you have, criticism welcome, of our tours. In that Discord, we share news of our upcoming events, the schedule of at which we do things, and many other things. The link to the Discord is my status in VR chat. Next, my friends, for those of you who really enjoy the work we put into this and you want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Our pa Patreon is only $3 per month and joining grants you eligibility to play character roles and our other tours that have those. Again, for those of you new here, many, many of our other tours have NPC roles where you, the travelers, can play a role in the story. In order to do that, we kindly ask that you join our Patreon. Now, finally, a few news announcements. Next weekend, we are not sure what event we will hold, but there will be an event. As you all know, The Painter 2 is still in development, and the CWT will eventually be under full development as well. I apologize for those of you waiting for the CWT. 
it is impossible for me to focus on that when the painter too has my full attention. Of course. As far as, as far as the painter two release date, well, my aim is before November, but we'll see. The support you all have given so far, we greatly appreciate that. And as always, ten thousand thank yous, travelers. Oh yes. How about a group photo before we leave? Ah uh, yes, the tradition. The tradition. I yes. Mm. I Let's all cross the forbidden barrier. Dead body and everyone surrounds it. And stand over the campfire and take a group photo. Okay. That works too. Mm -hmm. All right. Who's gonna stand in the fire? Me. I vote you who stands in the fire. Hello. Hello. Travelers, Hello. may I ask for a photographer? Do we have a photographer among us? <laughs> Sounds pretty soup. saucy to me. Soup. Uh, soup. Trey Jim says we need soup. 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 Okay, we someone need said soup, soup in the middle. Soup. On the fire. Okay, yes. Soup. 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 Excellent. Okay, all right. Soup. 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 Yeah, there you go. All right. Now, all right. Where we know what we're calling out. Where? One. Uh, where, Jim? Smiles, can you slice it left a little bit, please? It's your where? 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 All right. Where? Where? Photographer. Where? 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 Tell us when to say the code word. And the code where? word is either where or soup. Where? <laughs> soup. Where? Soup. I said the same thing twice, where? Oh, man. Where? What? What? You just said the same thing Boy twice. Soup. We're having boy soup tonight. Yes. Boy. Boy. Boy soup. Boy. Boy soup. Boy Ingredients Boy soup. one. Tray gym. Boy. See, it's Boy. soup gym. That's why they call him soup gym. Boy. Yes. No, they call me boy gym. Boy. 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 <laughs> bueno, gym. Boy soup. Boy. Bueno. That's why it's boy soup because we have boy gym. Hey. Boy. Boy, boy, Jim. Yes. I think boy. I heard boy, cameras Jim. going off for pictures, so I think pictures have been taken. All right. Well, let's say it. Three, two, one. Boy. 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 It has been taken on West Sea. Thank you. In a few minutes, we'll open a portal to the after party back to the rendezvous. There, you're welcome to talk and hang out as long as you like, and we will be serving drinks and checking out books from Trajim's library. We'll wait a few minutes before we open the portal. Uh, Debbie, stop blowing me up. What is this? What? Uh, well, I'm seeing physical harm by the young man. Please continue to do physical harm to the young man. Yep. Okay. The only physical harm that comes to me is when I fall off cliffs. Uh, this guy. Legend. 